Here is the first of, uh, we hope, many um, sound file converters uh, and importers in chip sounds. In 1.6, one thing I've added is um, the a few Amiga um, file formats. So you can now say this is my mod folder. Say I want to open my file, favorite mods, and then that's it. So I'm gonna explain later. Uh, next time, I know my converted folder now has Desert Dream Entro uh, two versions, the old interpolated version. This will sound like any typical uh, mod player that don't emulate the um, the DAC of the Amiga properly, the Paula chip. See how it's super clean and anemic. So if instead I load the default, which is the Paula, now you get the real sound. So this is um, the real sound, so no interpolation and no aliasing. Uh, you can't. You can open many things, not only uh, mod files but med as well. This is an interesting case where uh, Amiga f Amiga people wanted to emulate the SID chip. This is just a square wave. So the original. If you play that in a typical mod player, it's not gonna sound like a square wave at all because. This is exact sample by per sample cycles reinterpreted by chip sounds uh, oscillators. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that the program changes now acts as key switch as well. So people who like to program change uh, better, can use that instead. Uh, another format that's kind of more obscure, it's a David Whittaker format. I just love Shadow of the Beast so much that I wanted to be able to play it. Of course, unless you're David Whittaker, you won't be able to use those samples without his authorization, so <laughs> better be known. So all his typical uh, flutes there, so you can go. So that's it for the importer. Um, as you can guess, there's going to be, I hope, plenty of other cool stuff there. I can only let you imagine. Uh, more stuff on the, um, the Amiga, of course. Uh, many uh, people in the scene have seen these files, the ST01 uh, sample pack. So I assume they're pretty much um, uh, public domain right now, but if unless somebody else tells me otherwise I've put them in. I can easily take them out, but I think, I hope it's going to be taken as an homage to uh, the legacy of them. Uh, the thing about the ST01 samples is that there were 126 of them, but they were all like categorized, well, there weren't categorized at all, they were in alphabetical order, so it was kind of hard to play, so at least we, we took the time and we put them all by category. So I have all my bases here. So you can use a program change to swap them over. Of course, whether or not you use the program changes or the key switches, um, the wave sequencer will still work as it, as it did before. So you have basses. I'm not going to go through all of them, but basses to the brasses, the perks, the drums, the effects, the keyboards. In that case, you can change the poly. Of course, you're not going to say more than four. And even then, nobody used that. And if you want to emulate an, an Amiga, what you typically do is you have four slots of that, uh, each set to one polyphony, and you would pan two of them hard right and two other hard left. Well, 